Good morning. The, the drama of forgetting what we've met in Jesus is one that is a perennial risk. And the, re, the author of the letter to the Hebrews is telling us today, remember, remember the days past. Remember when your love for the Lord was young and strong. Remember when persecution didn't frighten you. Remember when they took your stuff and you're like, cool. Because you loved, your love was, was alive. And, 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 and as we sort of move on from that first fervor in the faith, we can sort of draw back a bit. Start to consider our possessions. Start to consider the, the cost of discipleship. Whether that's in friendships or in actual money or in uh, opportunity cost relative to doing things other than being faithful and we can in and, 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 and allowing that temptation to fester in us we find ourselves colder and colder toward the adventure the freedom to go and do and and suffer when it emerges we we recoil and, and so you know as as we prepare for uh, the holy season of Lent coming up in a couple of weeks. Starting to use these days to examine our hearts. You know, on Fridays, I usually do the vote of Mass for the Sacred Heart of Jesus. You see me on there. <laughs> always trying to figure out what page it's on uh, as the Mass starts. Uh, but we, uh, we want to examine our hearts. Where... Where is, where am I tent? Like you know, like when you're uh, like stretching, you discover that you've got a really tight muscle. Like there's a, and you don't necessarily know how it got that way, compared to maybe other, you know, maybe the parallel muscle on the other side is fine. But you got this. You're like, I can't move. You know, can't. That that's the. Of course, it's a silly analogy, but. That happens in our hearts. Like, ah, that's where it hurts. That's where it hurts, Lord. I need you to heal me there. I need you to remind me that, that I can let go in this area. Whether it's, you know, how much time I'm, I'm spending watching television or Netflix or the TV or I said TV already, um, or otherwise on the internet. With our diet of the me news media, social media, like how how these replaced room that maybe we used to enthusiastically listen uh, to that still small voice that is the Lord's. This is ultimately not a drama of recrimination. It's a drama of trust, belief that He can do it again. That, that He can renew that fervor in a mature way. Obviously, the experience of time Helps us to see things in more perspective, but not less enthusiastically, perhaps more, more with some nuance, but, but just deeper, deeper. So, so I, I, I'd ask that as we receive from the Sacred Heart of Jesus today, uh, we, we invite Him uh, to reveal our hearts to us, that we might trust that, that, that He can awaken in us that love or renewing us that love which which drives our passion for him uh, and and allow it to be freed from those things that have started to crowd in upon it in these days most sacred heart of jesus have mercy on us